Hello you Alphabetic F90 Reboot Flag of the Titans Expansion Packs. Joel here from the Hangar Bay bringing you November 2019's P Bundle Delivery. Oh boy, there's just been a ton of stuff that's come in. Uh, first up, before we get to it, I'd ask you to help me out by hitting the like button down below. Now onto the kits. So first up we have the MG Gundam Dynamese Trans Am Mode Metallic Gloss Injection. So, most notable thing about this kit is it comes with water slides. This is the only variation of the Dynamis that has water slides, or the MG Dynamis that has water slides. The unfortunate thing is these red markings here, those are supposed to be green on the retail kit. So unfortunately, you can't just take this kit and repaint it in the standard colors and expect it to look all right, because that red's going to stand out against the green, I think. But if you want something Dynamis, and the Dynamis is definitely a great kit, this, this has got you covered on that one. Uh, unfortunate, other unfortunate thing is that the guides here, there's no painting guide for the, the, the Trans Am colors. So I think you need to look up something like the Vrabe from Guild Fighters. That has the Trans Am color scheme. Otherwise that's not found anywhere, unfortunately. Otherwise, yeah, this was only available for as a single run only, so it's not available on the P Bundle store. I think I've only got one left at the time of recording this. It's gone, it's gone. But yeah, I expect to see more Dynamis coming up in the near future, anyway. HG Build Divers Gundam H2 Magnum SV version F Explosion. And that's a bit of a mouthful. So this, this is a recolor of the H2 Magnum that we saw at retail. It also has the, the ring from the Age 2 that was the, the what was it, Gundam Age kit. So, I don't remember what it was called, unfortunately, so sorry about that. But otherwise, yeah, it's just mostly, aside from those extra parts, it is a recolor of the retail kit. Um, so, if you're interested in these sorts of recolor things, this is definitely here. The Age 2 Magnum, or the HGs, is a nice kit in itself. Um, in terms of MG, since there is an MG H2 Magnum, we'll probably be seeing some variations of that coming up sometime in the future. I would anticipate either this or another one will be a limited release. No clue when it will be coming. Nevertheless, I do have a couple on this. Not, not a hugely popular kit, but it's there. Anyway, HG Build Divers Gundam H2 Magnum SV version F Explosion! HG RGM 79 SC Gym Sniper Custom with Missile Launcher. So this is what, Shimoto Squad, I think, from MSV. So done in the Origin line. This is a variation of the Gym Sniper Custom that we saw at retail. This one I did open up on the runners because I was curious. If you aren't following me on Twitter, please follow me on Twitter because I take photos of runners there, especially when the kits just come out, and I highlight interesting things that might point to future releases. So. Curious thing, these eye runners here, they have sections chopped off from the bottom of it. I reckon it's probably from the Gym Guard Custom E2 spray gun that is just slightly different because it's labeled Gym Origin on, on the runner. But it's there and that's sort of interesting. And then again, we're seeing the same thing with this J runner. So this is for the doing the split legs, so own those seam lines. It turns out it's like right down the center of that. But yeah, again, the section's cut off from that, so I anticipate, again, that this runner will probably appear on the E2 spray gun. Uh, unfortunate thing is this kit is no longer available from the P-Bundle store. It wasn't super popular, it didn't move, not that many runs associated with it. I anticipate, because it has the shared runners with the E2 spray gun, that it took over from the run, so they were using the same mold, so they can't produce as many. And the demand just wasn't there, but... Yeah, so I've got a few left of this at the time of recording. If it's something you're interested in. You've got this one, you also got the Gym Sniper Custom if you miss out on this one. I do have a couple left. So, Gym Sniper Custom with Missile Launcher. RE100 XM07G Vigna Zero. So, this is a variation of the Vigna Gina 2. This one also on the few RE100s that comes with water slides, so that's a relief there. The red is still a bit on the bright side, so if you've got yourself some matte spray, I definitely recommend giving it a bit of a matte coat to take a little bit of the shine. I don't think this is quite as obnoxious 
has the Vigna Gina 2. I don't have a Vigna Gina 2 to which to compare it. As such, I can't exactly compare, com compare all the runners, unfortunately. So I can't see if there's anything else going on with this kit, but yeah. Meantime, Vigna Gina is not the most popular of kits, but this is a cool variation of it, and especially since it comes with the water slides, that really helps. So, if crossbone is your sort of thing, this is something to look into. Alright, 100 Vigna Zero. MGFA78 1 Full Armor Gundam Blue Color Version. So, this is a reissue actually, but since I haven't handled it before, I thought I may as well get it on the camera. Thanks to the online poll about popular P1 Night kits, this has made a return. The most interesting thing I noted about this kit when I was looking at it was this is the Mark II inner frame that, or parts that we've seen here. This is done in ABS plastic, so that probably has something to do with why we don't really see this sort of thing. If you're familiar with things like the gym, gym command and the colony type, um, and also the Gym Sniper 2 and the Gym Sniper Custom, they also use the Mark II frame, but that's done in KPS, so it's much nicer. The unfortunate thing with this kit is it comes with a sticker sheet. Fairly sizable, because again, it's an old, older kit. However, that said, it also comes with water slide decals. So, it's at least decent in, that, in, in those terms, that it does come with the water slides. Also, the full armor Gundam, a bit of a rarity. It's quite hard to get the retail version of this. Same case with the P-Bandai. It is actually already sold out on the P-Bandai store. I cannot get it anymore. I have a few left. When it's gone, it's gone. So, if this is something that interests you, now's the time to go for it because I've got no idea when it's coming back. Anyway, that's the MG full armor, full armor Gundam blue color version. MG MS09H Dwodge Custom. So, again, if you follow me on Twitter, I've already opened up this box and noted what was interesting when comparing it with the original MG Dwodge. Um, one thing I noticed is that things on some of the runners, again, there's still sections that are missing, but like this R runner here, there's, there's a blank space up here, there's something up here. It's the same thing on the Dwodge. So, this is not the last we're seeing of the Dom. Uh, otherwise, yeah, this one unfortunately is a bit of a big box, so it is an EMS only case, unfortunately. Like the Dwodge, there's not really anything I can do about that because uh, Japan Post postal size limits limit me on the size dimensions of the box. It's 90 centimeters height plus length plus width, and when you put this inside of a box for shipping, it's larger than that. Nothing I can do about that except send it by EMS. On plus note, you can combine it with anything else in terms of shipping, and it will arrive very quickly. So there's one advantage, or some advantages with EMS. Um, yeah. So because of the missing sections of the runners, and that's not the last we're going to see of the DOM. So I don't know what exactly we'll see next. I guess we can see a Garen's Greed version of the Dwarch. Possibly something like a DOM front, because they're also doing Xeonic front stuff, so that's a possibility for NG scale. Uh, maybe a 1.5 version of the DOM for retail, that's also a possibility. But yeah, so otherwise this is a really cool kit. Unfortunately shipping is a bit pricey, so I advise, for com I advise combining it with other kits. But yeah, still really really cool, so if... Uh, Doms and Duodges and Double double Zeta is your thing, this is definitely something that you really want to check out. MG Duodge Custom. HG RX 7086 Gundam Geo 6 Mud Rock. So, this is the big ticket item for this month. This kit is now on its fifth run. Fifth run right now. I do have some kits, I'm taking orders for January at the moment. I'm sold out for December, and so taking orders for January. This is a great kit. I was looking at it. Some of the details on some of these runners is amazing. These two parts here, in particular for the legs. The crispness of that is just unbelievable. I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up, but that looks amazing when you see it in person. There's also, you know, but yeah, the other interesting thing, again, if you're following me on Twitter, 
the interesting thing is the way that this runner is gated. This, what is it? It's the B, C, oh, C1, C1 runner. The way it's gated, you've got some of the internals that are left over. So they're taking away the shield parts and some of the chest parts and the cannons and the legs, but retaining some of the internal structure of the thing, including the rotating forearm. So maybe we'll see more uh, of the Gundam units coming up in the future. That's what I would expect coming from that. This is, again, a super popular item, unfortunately. So you're probably going to have to pre-order this. You're not going to be able to wait for it to come into stock. I'm not. I don't have any left remaining from this month, I don't have any left remaining for next month. However, for January, I do have some, so best to get in when it's early. The other cool thing is the nice Xeonic Front logo on the box. I thought that was pretty cool. It's much like the Garen's Greed. That also had the same thing. And yeah, so get your pre-orders in if this is up your, alley, up your alley. Especially if you're really a big fan of Xeonic Front, you can buy two because you can build it in both ways. The full armor way from, was it Mission 12? And the original way when you first encounter it. I don't remember which mission that was, but yeah. Cool thing. Mud Rock. It's here. It's awesome. Check it out. MG Gundam Heavy Arms EW Eagle Unit. So, this is the second in the Endless Waltz Glory of Losers line. The first was the Shenlong. Now we have the Heavy Arms with Eagle Unit. This The box is actually smaller than anticipated, but this thing is stuffed. This is the heaviest box I've seen of this size. Um, this one comes with the water slides, as you would come to expect with uh, P Bandai MGs. These ones are, again, Kotoki. Uh, water slide like it was with the Shenlong. The new part is we have these runners here with the kit. So these are for adding the extra missile launchers and tank traits to the backs of the legs in order to create the Eagle unit. This again is also sold out on the Pibandai store unfortunately. So I've got a few left available for pre-order in December and then that's it. When it's gone, it's gone. That said, I'm fully anticipating them to go through more Glory of Losers kits, so expect to see probably the Tolgi Sprugel, I reckon will be the next one, coming up fairly shortly on the Pibano store, and I'll be taking orders for that when that pops up. In the meantime, if you don't have one, now's the time to catch it because it's going to be gone soon. MG Heavy Arms Custom, no, not the Custom, Heavy Arms EW Eagle Unit. MG Mission Pack F-Type and M-Type for Gundam F90. So F90 that we saw at the beginning of the video. This is an expansion pack for that kit. I'm currently only on... Well, I, got a, I think I've got a couple more F90s left from this run. Uh, otherwise more are coming in January. This is much like the F and F, F and S type that came out during last year. Uh, it's again an expansion pack. There's again water flies that come with it. This one has slightly less obnoxious sticker, uh, sticker sheet. Uh, I did look at the, the parts though in the, uh, before filming this and it does seem like there are some seam lines on like the harpoon gun and torpedoes here. There's going to be some seams on that so that's a little bit unfortunate because they don't have the same level of effort as the F90 itself but they're there. It's pretty cool if you want an underwater version of the uh, F90 or if you want a hand-to-hand -hand version of it, that's there to keep, uh, got you covered. And again, I think we're about due for another set of expansion packs coming up very soon, so expect more. And especially some of them, they're really, really out there in the terms of design, so I'm looking forward to what they bring out next. Anyway, in the meantime, we've got the F and M type expansion pack for Gundam F90. Legend BB, uh, was it Shinsei Dai Shogun? So, this this one actually wowed me when I first opened the box, and I'll show you why. This is this is really cool. I saw this runner. This is a multi injection clear color part for the wings. This this thing just looks amazing. I know Legend BBs aren't super popular. Those with all these SDs and, and miniaturized things, it's got really really nice clear parts. They're on the more pricey side, but that, that's just really, really cool. I just really love that one. It could be a hell to try to paint that. I don't... Well, you're going to really put your masking skills to the test, but yeah, that, as it is, it's really cool. Um, 
This one can also combine with the Victory Die Shogun, so you can build the Centaur version of that, which I think you can see in the back of the box here. So if you want to build everything associated with that, and it's also on the side of the box, there. If you want to build everything associated with this kit, then you want two, one to build by itself, and then one to combine with the Victory Die Shogun, but yeah. Anytime. If Legend BB is your thing, this is this thing is awesome. Legend BB Shinsei Dai Shogun. So, coming up next month, we have the RG Crossbone X2. So, the first in the P Bundle variations of the RG Crossbone. Expect to see an RG X2 custom, an X3, and a an X0 at some point. Though that with about six to nine months between releases, it mm, will probably be a couple of years before we see it all. I'm not sure about the full cloth, whether that will be retail or otherwise, but I don't know if Bondo would even know it at that point. That kit also comes with water slides though, that's kind of important. That kit was indicated as having water slides, so that's pretty cool. Very few RGs have that, so it's nice for that to be included for a change. And then we also have the MG Rigazi Unicorn version, so if you remember the Rigazi Custom that came out earlier this year, another variation of the Rigazi has been improved in a number of ways. This time it's for Unicorn, sharpened up details, looks really, really nice. So if Rigazis are your thing, that's there, definitely an awesome thing to check out. Um, then we have the HG00 Jinx for mass production version, so this is identical to what we saw previously with the uh, Jinx for Commander. Everything in the box is identical except the color has just been changed. That's it. And then finally we finally see the HG Sinandra Stein. So, way back if you remember, was it last year we saw the Sinandra Stein from Narrative, the narrative version of it with the sleeves iconography on the chest and the sleeves. Well, finally, finally they've released the HGUC standard version of the Sinandra Stein, really popular kit that was in the version KA. Now we finally see it in HG form, so it's a version that can actually support the beam rifle, so that's pretty cool. Uh, that's it for next month, there's not a whole lot new, there's only a few items. I guess everything was taken up for this month with everything that was coming this month. I do have more Hoodoo 2 coming in, but orders were sold out, and Mudrock's coming in, but that's again sold out and all that jazz, but yeah. So, if you're interested in any of the items that you've seen in this video, anything up and coming with Premium Bundle, or anything that's come out in the past and you're wanting to get back to because you missed the pre-order window on that, I do have a ton of these kits available for pre-order and in stock. I sell on both eBay and now I have my own web store uh, that's available. So that's thehangabay.co. We're working on improvements on that at the moment, but that's there. Not all items are available in stock because I have a lot of uh, inventory that we're getting through, we're working through, and that's definitely a place. So I sell it in yen on the uh, online store. So if you're based internationally, that can help a lot because now we're dealing with one less currency conversion with uh, with uh, selling and then also the shipping rates should be a little bit better than compared to on eBay because there's less of an overhead involved but yeah so once again please check out either me on eBay if or on the private store either one is okay whichever you feel more comfortable with um, if you're interested in cool Gundam shirts please check out my friend Satism's uh, store on Etsy you can pick yourself up a really cool Gundam shirt like this one that I'm wearing right now. Um, yeah, so otherwise, if you're interested in anything P Bandai, please subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for the notifications, uh, anything you'd like to comment on, correct anything that you noticed else in the video, please feel free to leave a comment down below or try to comment on that. If you have any questions for me, leave a comment down below or try to respond to it down there. Um, anyway, otherwise, thank you for watching and hope to catch you on the next one. Bye bye.